this session we're going to look at the modular plant design which is an add-on with solid edge and as you can see we've got a um, section of plant and we want to sort of just add in a, a little bit extra to um, sort this out so when you install modular plant design we get an extra tab up here and um, you, you get a sort of a, a few tools standard parts obviously um, uses the piping library and we've got sort of like the piping and the isometric so we'll start by looking at the piping which opens up the um, separate environment over here which manages um, some of the uh, tools for that and as you can see we've already got um, so something in here which is linked to the PNID um, so if we open that up you'll see that it opens up the um, PNID application and uh, the PNID toolbox which gives us the link between the two programs so um, when that opens up you can see that we have the um, PNID program um, generally you'll have a template which will have like a cover sheet um, index diagrams um, so we've got a couple in here this is the one that we're going to work with um, and this is a sort of representation of the 3D model. And what we need to do is add in a pump and a connecting pipeline with a, a valve in between. So if we start with um, going up to the component database, which is linked to the parts library, and type in the word pump um, under type contains. Um, we get a number of options and we're just going to look at this first one go OK and that places the icon um, symbol for that on the cursor if I hit the space bar um, we can actually rotate it and uh, if I just scroll in I'm going to place it up somewhere around here so in here we have um, the details so I'm going to give it a name if you have got it all set up you can sort of do um, incremental numbers and formulae and um, you've got the option whether it's going to be an inner piece of equipment so when we go back to our PNID um, toolbar you'll see that th there is a difference between the inner and non-inner so this is a standalone item so we're going to turn the inner off and go OK. So escape out of there. Um, the labels are linked, so I can just drag them around to where um, where is appropriate. And um, as you can see up here, we've got a number of tools. So these are sort of like predefined um, symbols that you're going to use on a regular basis. So for my lines, I'm going to do a conducting line and just place that. In here so these red dots are the um, connection points for um, lines and symbols so I need to start drawing from there and I've got my grid on here so I can sort of get a uh, snap to and as I come to my point on here it sort of resets and that completes that so if I double click on here um, it's sort of like a database so um, you can um, put some metadata against it so we'll call this um, PL300 again we've got the options to um, uh, choose our numbering um, and we're going to use this get specification from solid edge piping so this goes off and reads um, information um, for this design I'm using the spec 10CA and it's going to be a hundred mil diameter DN standard so we go OK and that's enough for this so um, if I go and drop this up here again using the space bar to reorientate it and um, we've also got a tag on here as well um, which I'm just going to move over here for a little bit. So, as I said, we also need to have a valve 
So I can do a place from specifications. So that goes off and pulls out the database and finds the you know DM 100s and I'm looking for a globe valve on this one. So we go OK and that puts it onto the end of my cursor like the pump. So if I just drop it over the top of the line, it's going to sort of recognize that um, we have that information. This one's an inner one because it's connected to the line. So it's in line with the rest of it. So we've got that. Um, and we just go OK on here. Notice how it reorientates it. Um, and we can sort of move this around if we want to. Uh, again, likewise with the label, I can position that off here. So um, once you've sort of done your um, information, we can go off to our bill of materials. We've got um, a component list as well. We do need to update this. So we just come in here and that adds in the new items for us. And once we've done that, we can go back to our solid edge. So um, as I said earlier on, we've got a um, number of components and also pipeline data, which re references back to um, these items over here. So as I said, um, this one is not inner. It's a standalone item, so it's got a blue dot against it, whereas other items are connected and they do not have blue dot. So um, as you can see, I haven't got my new pump or valve in here. So I just need to do a refresh and that goes off and realigns the two programs. So the PNID to the solid edge. And that just takes a moment to bring all that in. And while it's loading, um, we'll see that um, the headings when it comes back um, have now gone from um, green to uh, a warning sign. So you can see that we've got our new components in here shown in orange um, because they are not associated with any 3D solid component. So from here, um, let's create our pump. So um, we've got icons down here which um, give us tools. So uh, we want to do a place 3D for model. As you're getting used to it, you can also do a right mouse click and that gives you the text that's associated with that icon. So it's sort of a quicker way of finding what you're after. So this goes off to the standard parts database and it sort of pulls out centrifugal pump, um, whichever size you've got. So we've got a 100 mil nominal diameter. So we just go select that and then we place that into our drawing. So with a lot of standard parts, it's got um, a recognized fit. So we've got a um, mate on the bottom. This one's not highlighting, so we'll just go in and activate the part. So I need to pick that top face. And as it moves around, you can see we've got a axial line on the hole. And again, we can pick up on there. And we've got a mate operation. And I want to pick it to mate with a um, floating offset. Um, and I just need to activate this part as well. And that places my pump in place and it comes back and tells me that the component is assigned so um, that's not only placed it but it's it's given that assignment between the 3d CAD component to the um, PNID symbol so um, we've got a glow valve which has got to come in as well um, but before we can place that we need to put in the um, pipeline um, between here and here. Um, there are options on here um, which will allow you to sh show where that pipe is has got to um, be positioned. So um, before I do anything else, I am, um, if you notice over here, we've got a whole number of other pipelines. They're all done as sub-assemblies. So again, we'll do the same thing. We can click on here 
and we can create a subassembly in CAD. So basically all that does is it goes off and creates a subassembly, attaches it to the assembly and puts it into the tree. So if, if we, um, when it comes back, we can in place activate it. And that puts me into the subassembly. And um, as I said, we're looking at creating a um, pipeline path. So if we go into our tools and we use uh, the Solid Edge Express route to do this. And um, we could do the lines and arcs and whatever, but uh, in this instance, we've got a um, clearly defined start and end point. So we'll use the Path Express. And as I said, we're going to go from here. And just to make sure that we pick it up, we can hold the Shift key and pick up off the center of that. And then as we rotate down to the pump we placed, again, holding the Shift key down, we can get to the center of there. And that creates the path. Um, one thing we need to make sure is that um, our length is long enough so we'll put in a length of say 800 and that drops it out and we've got various options on on how it generates that path whether it's the shortest route or um, different different directions so we'll take that one and go finish so we've created our path um, and sort of that's the only sort of manual piece that we need to do um, up back in our piping area, um, there's an option up here to recognize the pipeline paths. So that goes off to Solid Edge and it just picks that up and pulls that in on here. So now we need to assign our um, pipeline and assign it to this path. And then that goes off and needs to generate all of the components that go to make up um, that um, pipeline. So it's, it's recognized the um, 100 mil DN standard. And to do that, it's got to place a whole lot of gaskets, um, bends, pipelines, and so on. So it's just generating those as it goes. And you can see that working over here. Um, so that will come back in a second and you can see that we now have our pipeline with all of its components. Um, what we haven't got is that globe valve which is going to sit in here so we're going to sort of just remove that flange at the moment. So that just leaves the globe valve um, to be placed. Um, Actually, before I need to do that, I need to come out of express route. Um, obviously, it's not a piping component, so um, we just need to sort of come out of, the, out of there so we can do a place the 3D model. And like before, it's pulled it out of the parts library and it's got its um, recognized fits. And the last one is to align it there. But um, as you can see, it's placed the globe valve in there, but it hasn't updated the um, piping. So to rectify that, we can just go over here and do a recalculate pipeline. And that just goes back and rebuilds everything from scratch. Um, so it'll shorten the pipe and put a new flange in on here. Um, as it comes in. So you can sort of see that that's now working as desired. Um, and we have our um, pipeline um, associated, we have the club valve associated. So that just leaves um, one more thing before we close and return. If we go back to our modular plant design tab, um, what you may want to do is just create a 3D um, draft file of that configuration. So if we go into the isometric and you've got some options in here. So we want to create a CAD assembly. 
and then just go next. So you can see it's using that PL300. Um, so there are all the details. Let's go next. And you specify the um, folder. And we want to do a convert to CAD. And then we'll go finish. And what that will do is it will just generate um, the file. We just need to make sure that we have um, missed out a step. So I need to create the drawing template. So I'm going to use this one here. And then when we go finish, it will go off and um, use that template to generate the um, uh, isometric file. So we can go open destination folder and here's our output. And you can see that it's created that on a um, sheet for us and has all the information necessary. So that just gives you a generalized overview of the modular plant design and how the components work together um, in a synchronized fashion so that you can um, generate your information and output it to the desired parties.